They tell you what it is, and you see it in plain sight, and you think it's something else. Wow. Everybody was mad at me until a white woman confirmed it. Coroners have officially pronounced Michael Jackson unalived between 18 and 20 years ago. Okay, then that puts the timeline between 1978 and 1979. That they found his remains on Neverland. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, listen, man. You got me in so much stuff, man. Uh, Michael Jackson, uh, the comment, it, it, it flooded. It went viral. Everybody was trying to understand how you came up with that. They started talking about the date. They said the date was, uh, uh, it was in 1984. That, that, that he had got his hair burned. It got his hair burned. Explain to me just, did he, but the, but the overdose that you, uh, the, body, happened. The, the, the incident happened in 1979. And from what I understand it now, it was a lookalike that was in 1984 that they concocted the hair burning to go to the alopecia to say that his skin was changing while they were in corporation of making the clone. Wow. And you know, in 84, I want to say that's the first time I see the glove. Right, right. The, 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 the silver one glove that he would wear? Yes, sir. That's the first time I remember seeing it. Now, it might have been before that. I don't know, but I, I, that's the time I recollect seeing it. Okay. Pretty much so. And, and what is it? Sig what was the significance of the one silver glove? I, that's what I don't know. And that's another hidden message, just like in Thriller, him coming up out of the grave. His family didn't believe in that. So, Everything is called subliminal seduction. They tell you what it is, and you see it in plain sight, and you think it's something else. Wow. Everybody was mad at me until a white woman confirmed it. Coroners have officially pronounced Michael Jackson unalived between 18 and 20 years ago. Okay, then that puts the timeline between 1978 and 1979. That they found his remains on Neverland. Why did they call it Neverland? I don't know, why did they call it Neverland? Never, never, never. Ne whether he's dead, you never gonna forget Michael Jackson on. No, never. At the time of, it came up at the time that he was dealing with a child molestation. Michael didn't play with girl, little kids like that. Not I, Allegedly, I was not there. You dig what I'm saying? Before I get this slack again, and I don't care whether, uh, um, Elvis Presley was the king of rock, the king of that pop. Yeah, the king of, I don't give a f what king he was. He was a king, goddamn. <laughs> don't worry about that. You understand? These coons be nitpicking. He said you didn't get it right. Huh? The king of R and B. He, he wasn't the king of R and B. I okay. The king of pop. He was a he was a king. Who is the king of R and B? I don't know. They say R Kelly is the king of R and B. Okay, R Kelly is the king of R and B. I, I Rob Banks. I don't care nothing about who's the king, and I'm just record. Shoot the messenger. <laughs> so you tell the story the way you told it. You didn't say. You say somebody in prison shared that story. No, no, no. I didn't say somebody in prison. One of my homies, a guy from Piru Street, okay, was a light man in Las Vegas. And he worked for the Jackson family. He was one of the first light men in Vegas. He worked for Ben Vereen, Bill Cosby. We had. Pave, anything we needed on Las Vegas Boulevard, 76 on, until this incident happened in 1979. Then he went dark. Went to his house, he wasn't at the house. Went there, like, man, where in the hell is Leonard at? You understand me? Uh, like, man, I go to prison, I get out of prison in 1990. He's like, underhood on crack cocaine. And he had told me this story. And when he know it was 86, he first told me the story. In 86? In 86, he told me, man, what happened to you, man? You, he like, man, this happened, and they start corrupting everybody that was associated with that. Wow. And I had to go under. He like, man, he gave up a 200, this man was making $250,000 a year wow. in the 70s and wasn't selling drugs. Wow. And went from that to nothing, so I'm like, okay. Then when I got out in 90, he told me the same story. Mark, remember what I told you about that? Man, it's going bad. It's whoop de whoop And I'm like, okay. So I've been keeping it all this time, but I've been 
start researching the activities. Now, when you research the activities, you start looking at the changes. Well, one of the brothers in the Nation of Islam on the time that Michael was deceased, the, the clone Michael was deceased, when they took the clothes off, when they took his clothes off, his nuts was pink. A black man, you know, <laughs> you know we don't, everything, that's why. No, wait a minute, they say when they took it for, for, for the autopsy? They never, he never had a, well, okay, there's another situation we go to. When they, they came in and took him, they said they were taking him to a chamber for his body to be frozen. That's what the family wanted, allegedly. So they was wrapping him and putting him in this thing for this chamber. Mysteriously, right after that, they said they cremated him. Whoa. Not that cremation is against Jehovah's Witness, but it, they didn't cremate jo Joe. They buried Joe out next to the, the grave that Michael Jackson ain't in. Wow. So now we went from he was supposed to be frozen to having a secret cremation. But now in this, in toxicology, when you die from an overdose, they're supposed to get blood samples. They have no blood samples. No. Nothing at all that has the DNA for the clone Michael Jackson. So he's supposed to have two children, right? Right. Now the woman said, well, no, it was in vitro fertilization. We never had ugly as she is. She wasn't ought to get it from anybody. But she said, no, she didn't have sex with Michael. And so now when it came to them taking a DNA on the children, the the doctor that supposed to did it, he said that the sperm was his. Wow. So he, the son is not Michael Jackson, it's his son. <laughs> So it went over everybody's head. Now they got $100 million. Each of the kids. Wow. But they have no trace of Jackson DNA. So do you feel like that was a that was just a plot to to take to get it's control always of, a the, plot. of the money? It's always the control. They said they made $3 billion for a council world tour that they knew wasn't going to never happen. So since he died, accidentally, uh, accidental death, overdose at hands of another, what did Conrad do? He from Texas, he didn't know no better. He was following protocol. But they didn't arrest none of the other doctors who were supposed to have been injecting him with that, huh? No, no, they didn't. We make all of us the fall guys. For 15 years, he was with the Pinkerton detective, white people. When it came for his demise, the last three years of this situation, when it came to the effect of him being accused of messing with kids, they hired the Nation of Islam. Why? Negro don't know nothing. We just impressed to be around, huh? Wow. And when you see the Nation of Islam, the ones that did security, they wasn't ranked FOI. They were some young boys. Wow. No, it, it, it definitely, like I said, it's, it's mysterious how Mike moved, how he would go here and go there, how they portrayed him. And you made the statement that his mom really, you didn't see them together much after, you know, after. You didn't see them together at all for 15 years. And he was a mama's boy. He was, when my partner, he was telling me, Leonard said like, man, when they used to go out, Michael would be at home with his mom. He never went out and hung out with girls. He never did this and this and that. He was uh, he was a mama's boy. He didn't go out and express himself. But now, after this 79 to 84, you never seen him in any family pictures, Easter, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving. Oh, Michael called us. But he was never there present at any family function. Wow. What was the disconnect? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.